did my hair up because I felt like it was so fitting so you could see the details of the embroidery <laughs> honestly I hope you guys aren't gonna get tired of these robes because this is why I'm gonna be wearing every day if it weren't for the secret this is what I would be wearing good morning for waking up so late oh my gosh woke up oh late gosh, I did it okay oh my goodness my mistake they ate watermelon in the middle Right before bed, not the middle of the night, but they woke up in the middle of the night, four in the morning. Mia had to go into our room because Kira was in her bathroom. I even told them, like, you guys can't have too much. They didn't really have too much, but still. So I woke up late. I'm full from the yogurt. I don't want to eat. Okay, then you don't have to eat. And I said, you guys are going to have to eat breakfast at school. I don't have time to make breakfast. <laughs> But they ate a banana and yogurt. I guess if that's enough, that's enough. I'm just gonna drive home to school. Usually we just walk. But I am proud I was able to prepare lunch. I'm gonna go to their school in my pajamas. Just throw on a jacket. I bet all the stay-at-home parents are in their pajamas when they're dropping off their kids in their cars. They have to be. You guys need to do a five second turbo. One, two, three. Let's go. Have fun! Okay, I love you! In your backpack! Your backpack! Bye! Bye! Love you! Be good, okay? Okay! No running! No running! Morning! It feels so refreshing to finally be able to wear my robes freely and openly, openly in the vlogs. Now, if you've watched for a while, you may have seen these robes before. When I got them, um, like the final, final samples, I'd wear them in the vlogs every now and then. Just to see if anyone noticed like hey that's a really nice robe and in the comments people noticed they were asking where did you get your robe so that excited me um but closer to the launch i stopped wearing it because i wanted it to be kind of fresh again because on my days off you know mondays and tuesdays we usually don't vlog on my days off that's when i'm in my robe the whole time it's been a really fun couple of days because that's when we announced the launch of jmk i'm about to film um kind of like a Q&A, answering some questions for the JMK Instagram. I'll have those linked down below. The day before launch, I'm gonna talk more into detail and depth about the brand and the inspiration behind the robes and whatnot. So I'm excited, February 2nd, it's finally dropping. I did my hair up because I felt like it was so fitting so you could see the details of the embroidery. <laughs> Honestly, I hope you guys aren't gonna get tired of these robes because this is what I'm gonna be wearing every day. If it weren't for the secret, this is what I would be wearing. You didn't eat lunch? I did! Mm -hmm. Mia not showing her, her cookie. Cookies? Oh, she got cookies from her class? Mm -hmm. She doesn't have to. Mel is helping steam the robes. What is this? I feel like this is a retail shop. Are you doing inventory? Yep. Some extras that we needed to steam. This is so cool to see. Beautiful. It is so gorgeous. <laughs> Okay, what are we gonna eat? It's already four o'clock and I am so hungry. <laughs> Maybe some curry. You have some leftover curry. I'm gonna eat that. I'm so hungry. Oh my goodness. Meters. Oh, I think you're supposed to put the number seven here and centimeters cubes. That's why there's a space. Mommy, I have juice bowl. Mia, you don't need juice right now, okay? We're gonna have a treat after Taekwondo. Mommy, you don't need any sweets right now. Mommy, you don't need to get the 
surprise treat. Mommy, I'm done with my homework. Someone just purchased a sunrise robe and let's just see how fancy she looks in it. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Wow. Me too. So cute and elegant. Let me get the tie. This is mommy's. <laughs> okay. I bought a book on Amazon because I told myself I need to be reading more. And I didn't want to do pointless reading. Like I want to read something that would help my mind and soul. And I figure, what better than the Dalai Lama? The Book of Joy. And it's funny, I don't know why I got the large print, but I did. I'll be reading this on my spare time. And, and when I take the kids to Taekwondo, I'm just sitting there watching. And I'm trying not to be on my phone. So I figure a book is where it's at. <laughs> Snack life. I have not given up on watermelon. As long as the store is selling it, I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna get it. But I found a hack. So the hack is to buy a watermelon that's already been opened. It just had cellophane on it. So this way it's guaranteed fresh and you don't have to guess. <laughs> Last night we already scooped it, but there's still lots of good watermelon meat in this. Mm. Mm. Moving around, I accidentally bumped Kiwa's head. Oh, did you say sorry? Nope. <laughs> How did you forget? <laughs> well, even if it's an accident, you still say sorry. Because they're rushing for the game. Silly billies. Well, I just really want to do that so people have something to do at recess. Because, at recess, because. We're waiting on one more player. We got this game from the Christmas party. It's called I Found It. How cute is that? It's from Canada, you could tell because there's French on it. It's a hidden figures game. And what I like about it is that we all get to play as a team. Mia goes first because she cleaned up the most. I'm gonna do it. Benji came home from work. He's doing stuff in the office. What you doing in the office so late? I'm, I'm just kidding. Before he came home, he's like, hey honey, if you want anything, now's the time. Like, I love it when you do that because it's not often that you're like, what do you want? Anything. I couldn't figure out what I wanted. Like, I don't, I don't know. I'm not craving anything in particular. So I go, oh, don't worry about it. I'm, I don't know what I want. And I'm very indecisive. An hour passes and I'm thinking, dang, I'd really love a Jimmy. But I was just going to make it from home because I know we have bread. Oh, snap. We don't have cheese, though. He goes, oh, I'll just go get it. But look at this. It's 9 o'clock. They close at nine. And he is still insisting on going. I would call him right now and be like, hey, could you stay open for 10 minutes? No, please don't be. Why? Honey, do not be that guy. What if there's people in there and they're Still like, don't be that guy, because I know what it's like. When I worked retail and people would walk in even five minutes before, I would like, oh, Cause then you still have to count the money in the register. And then you have to, like it's a process. <laughs> Aw, is that the necklace Mia got you? So yeah, I'm craving Jimmy John's and we don't have the right ingredient. Hey, actually Safeway would have the French bread, wouldn't they? Safeway. And they're open 24 hours. And we need cheese. Or I could go get it if you don't mind staying home. No, I'll go get it. I don't mind staying here if you want to go out, but I'm more than happy to go out and get it for you at Safeway or even uh, at Hagen's, which has even better bread. I mean, but if you're in Hagen's already, you know they have the gluten-free chocolate chip cookies over there? And they have the, the already opened watermelon. That's guaranteed. You have a watermelon in the backyard. Yeah, but that one's questionable. Well, you should open that up now, <laughs> and I will go to Higgins right this moment. Might as well go to Popeyes. No, I'm not craving Popeyes. Okay, well then I'll Unless see. you are, you could get... No, I'll just go real quick. Can you make the sandwich while you're in the car, and then so when you come in, the sandwich is ready? 
like, I Thanks, Jimmy honey. John's. Well, Jimmy John style, yeah. It has to be the fresh bread. <laughs> Thanks. See you soon with my Jimmy John's wannabe sandwich. <laughs> Thanks, honey. You're the best. You're the best music. Did you uh, want a white cake or a chocolate cake? Can I see? Oh my god. Ooh. Like this one might be a winner. That looks bomb. I think that one back there. Not chocolate. You want that one then? Yeah, does it look moist? Uh, it looks pretty moist to me. Okay, yeah. Okay, All right. and then uh, anything else? Mm, cheese. Cheddar, provolone, mozzarella. I think cheddar. Okay. And provolone. Thank you, honey. Oh, oranges! Oh, that's a bonus. What? Is this French bread? I've never seen these. Are these just like mini French breads? Wow. Then he got rolls. Is that the same thing? Yeah, they look like the exact same thing. Cheese. Oh my gosh. Benji and I are gonna enjoy this tonight. Yeah, treat yourself. That's so weird. Why are they like different sizes? It's like the mama bear, papa bear, baby bear bread. This is gonna be so bomb. I need to cook or at least heat up my meat. Apparently expectant moms are not supposed to be eating deli meat just because of like the bacteria could be harmful. Although, I mean like, you know, to each their own. I've heard lots of expectant moms eat meat and it hasn't been an issue. But just to be safe on the safe side, why not? Benji loves Japanese mayo. I do too, but I want this to be more like the Jimmy John's and Jimmy John's. And they just use regular American mayonnaise. You didn't cook mine, right? I didn't cook it, I made one. You didn't cook my ham? You just put raw ham on it? No, I didn't. You don't have any more mayo, huh? We do. I use regular mayo on mine, I put Japanese on yours. Oh, why is that? Because I want it to taste like Jimmy John's. Oh. Mmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks for making it. <laughs>